let's talk about proportional reasoning. There are many different relationships that we can look at when we have situations that cause us to think about what the relationship is between them proportionally. We're kind of thinking about this in our multiplicative reasoning world. We have three different relationships that I'm gonna focus on today. Let's look at a problem. If John can drive 330 miles in six hours, then how far can he drive in 18 hours? Let's look at this using three different types of proportional reasoning. The first type of proportional reasoning I want to introduce you to is scaling. You might be used to thinking about solving this in a proportion just like this. So again, I know that in six hours, I can drive 330 miles, and I'm trying to figure out how far I can drive in 18 hours. If I'm using the scaling type of proportional reasoning, I'm trying to figure out six times what number gives me 18. I know that's six times three. I know that because I have multiplied the numerator times three, I must also multiply the denominator times three. I'm needing to make sure that I'm multiplying both of these by the same number because really I know that three over three reduces to one. So I'm not changing my problem any here. So I know that six times three is 18. 330 times three gives me 990 miles. I can also think of this using a T-chart. So I know that in six hours I can drive 330 miles, and I know that in 18 hours I can drive 990 miles, and I could even think about halfway between these. In 12 hours I could drive 660 miles. When I'm looking at my scaling method of proportional reasoning here, I'm literally saying from here to here, I'm multiplying times three, and from here to here, I'm also multiplying times three. Now let's take a look at the second way that you could solve this problem using a constant multiple or the unit rate. When I'm working with a constant multiple or the unit rate, now I'm trying to figure out, okay, so if I know that I can drive 330 miles in six hours, how fast am I going? How many miles per hour? So I can literally say 330 miles in six hours. So then what does that equal in terms of miles per one hour? When I do my math, I figure out I'm actually driving 55 miles in one hour. Now I can use that to figure out how many miles I can go in 18 hours. Again, I can look at this on a t-chart and say, okay, for every one hour he drives, he drives 55 miles. So therefore in two hours, he drives 110 miles. I can keep on going and figure out that in 18 hours, he drives 990 miles. Notice that with unit rate, we're actually multiplying across. So I'm multiplying one times 55, two times 55, 18 times 55. This is my constant multiple or unit rate. The last way that we can think about this is using a constant ratio. Sometimes we call this cross products. When we're looking at the constant ratio and using cross products, you need to know that in proportional relationships, cross products must be equal. That means that if I multiply these two numbers, it has to equal these two numbers. If that's not the case, it's not proportional, period, end of story. Let's plug in what we know so far. So again, we know that John can travel 330 miles in six hours, and we're trying to figure out how many miles he can travel in 18 hours. We can go ahead and do our cross products here, and I can solve this algebraically. I know that 6x equals 18 times 330. 6x equals 5,940. Then I need to divide by 6 to get my variable by itself, divide this side by 6 to get the variable by itself, and I get x equals 990 miles. Again, I can plug this in and check. My cross products must be equal if it is proportional. 
I want you to notice that with a constant ratio, we're literally thinking about this as a ratio. And for proportional relationships, these two ratios must be equal. If I think about simplifying this, I know that I can divide both of these by 6, and I'm going to get 55 over 1. I can divide both of these by 18. I'm also going to get 55 over 1. This is why we call this a constant ratio, because you can see that both of these are the same ratio. Again, it makes sense in this case because he's driving 55 miles per one hour. I hope that gives you a better idea of how to think about your three different types of proportional relationships.